So we can prove the cosine law by looking at breaking this the triangle into two right triangles. And it's through this height that we're going to do this through. So if you take a look at this triangle, so this is our ABC triangle. Okay, we're going to call it, this side is whole length is B. But we're going to break it up into two parts. The red part is going to have side, the hypotenuse is A. They're going to share the height. And this side length we're going to call X. For this side of the triangle, this is going to be our C side. It's going to share the height H. And the bottom side B is going to be missing this X part, so we're going to call this B minus X. Okay, so we can come up with two Pythagorean relationships here based on the red triangle. So A squared is equal to the height squared plus this X squared. Okay, and we're going to rearrange it to the H squared because it's through connecting these two sides to the H that we're going to solve this. We're going to prove the, the cosine law. This triangle here is going to be C squared. The hypotenuse here is going to be H squared and B minus X all squared. Okay, so this is our other Pythagorean relationship. And we're also going to evaluate this X piece by just saying that cosine C is going to be this X divided by A. So we're going to say that A cos C equals this X. But we're just going to keep it as X for now and we're going to introduce the A cos C later on. So starting with the blue triangle here, we have c squared equals h squared plus bx squared. Okay, and then we're going to just replace that h squared okay, here with an a squared minus x squared. So we expand it out. Okay, this h squared gets replaced with a squared minus x squared. Okay, so this black part here is expansion of b minus x all squared. Okay, and now at this point you can see that the negative x squared and positive x squared, well there's a zero pair, so we're going to get rid of those. So we end up with a squared plus b squared, so it's starting to look like our, our Pythagoras theorem. And then we have this extra bit here because of that non-90 degree triangle, 2bx. And we want to then be able to get rid of that x, because everything else is consistent with the cosine law. So to eliminate x, we go back to here. We've, we've shown that x is equal to a cosine c, so when we replace that with a cosine c, we end up with our cosine law. So there it is. There's our cosine law, and this is a proof of the cosine law, and it's through using these splitting up into two right triangles. It's through the shared height that we connect the Pythagoras theorem for these two sides of the triangle.